New Jersey is about to bring upon, and I have a third of my office on the border of New York and New Jersey, uh, to get flu vaccine Absolutely. to preschoolers. Mm -hmm. Do you agree or I'm disagree? very much in favor of that. Okay, first of all, flu, which is really usually a benign disease, I think last year, 97 reported deaths to young children to flu. Is that correct? This is relatively recent appreciation since the uh, big outbreak in Colorado and the 03 or 04 winter season. But influenza is has a high mortality rate and a high hospitalization rate uh, under five years of age, and is worst under two years of age. So, in other words, it's a good idea. It's an excellent idea. Okay, and also the little kids mm -hmm. have grandfathers That's right. and great grandfathers and grandmothers and great grandmothers. So the way they get sick is when they visit their pride and joy. That's right. They get a present they don't want. That's right. And flu is very, very serious to the older population. Mm -hmm. I think about 35,000. 36,000 deaths every year, and most of those are elderly patients. Uh, and there was this uh, dramatic demonstration um, in Japan where they had a mandatory school. So it's actually school-age vaccination policy for influenza for about 15 years. And during those years, they saw thousands of fewer deaths among the elderly population. So it proves it works. That's right. Well, it proves that immunizing the young, healthy pediatric it proves population vaccines work. decreases spreading to the community. And also proves that vaccines work. Correct. Now, we have a flu vaccine that's free of all preservatives for 36 months or less mm -hmm. and no argument. And, and by the age of three, you should know the kid has autism or not. Unfortunately, we do not have a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Mercury free. It's the only one left that I know that has real mercury in it. A very small uh, amount. A very small amount. amount. Mm -hmm. So even that issue should not be an issue. Because yeah. by the three, you show your kid's not talking and mm -hmm. focusing. So even that issue should not even be brought up. So it's a very good idea. That's right. There's no reason not to get flu vaccine. And it's one of the least expensive right. vaccines. It probably costs $10, 11 a dose. That's There's right. even a, a nasal version. You could agree or disagree. It's now down to two years of age. Okay. Is, so. And it's, the cost, which was a lot more expensive, is now very close to the other one. Mm -hmm. So that the cost factors of either way. Right. You can get it with a needle, without a needle. Why are we holding back? Right. The only, the only true contraindication, as you know, is uh, true egg allergy. That is, if you have animals, that's the only one it. we have. Even measles, they say it's it's okay because yep. it's it trace them out. That's and right. I call the company. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's really that one, and, I, and yeah. true egg allergy is kind of really it's rare. It's very rare. I mean, unless you have a true allergic reaction of the eating egg or egg product, and you got to get hives or swollen joint, right. not a little rash or pimple on the nose, mm -hmm. right? Right. 